Hello everyone, welcome back. We're going to continue to dive into the depths of Dungeon Crusade. We are ready to start our upkeep phase. And we still have no afflictions, torches, or special abilities, or teleporting we have to worry about. So, moving right into the Initiative tokens, we're going to have Faith go 1, Inwin go 2, Sir Brennus go 3, Zeke 4, Inwin 5, did I say Inwin while I go, I meant Paloon 2, and then 6 over here for Melhiliac. That should get everything down. We have two raiding minions here that we're going to have to to worry about and I think I'm going to send uh, I don't know if Faith can reach it probably not Paul M should be able to reach this one Paul M's here so she should be able to get because he's pretty close the uh, cultist of Zul up there I think I'm going to have to divert these two. Mel Hiliac's closer, but he will not do well in the battle against them. So, well, I thought I'd switch those over, but I didn't, I guess. So let's see. Let's try this one. Uh, cultus up here. Mel Hiliac is closer. Um, he's not going to, he just, he's not, he's not versed in the stuff she is. So we're going to have to get Zeke and probably, uh, anyone up that direction. Um, I don't think, uh. Paul Loom can probably would have a better chance with her plus four base, but again, she is not that well versed against that skeletal grunt. He's got uh, red, purple, and green. Uh, well, well, she might. She, she's she's well versed in mythical, so she may be she may be the one to do that. We'll see. And I think I'm just going to have Sir Brennus come over here and start mining that other site. So, okay. Up first is Faith. She is here. Let's go ahead and we're going to move her this direction because that way she can still stay teamed up with, uh, with Paloon. So she has a base of two. Plus a D6. So that's four. A six to start. And she's going to go again. Oh, that coming. We've got six and eight. So we've got 14. That might get her over there. Let's see. Is she going to be good against that skeletal grunt? She will. 14, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Nope, just close enough. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do that battle. Faith will take on the skeletal grunt. We'll see what happens there. Okay, the skeletal grunt is good in physical, mythical, and arcane. So, Faith will be using her plus two here, and then she has, oh, I'm sorry, that's wrong, that's, that's the wrong one. She's got to use the, uh, this one here, the arcane. She got a plus one and a plus two, so that's what she'll be doing. 
And the schedule of grunt uses this one, and this one, and this one. Okay, so that means she, uh, let's see, she's a zero in uh, physical. She's got to have a plus three in the arcane, so, and then she's a, she's also, well, she's a plus one in the, Mystical. So we may have to let him get the first strike in. So we will defend here and then attack there. Okay, so that's where our uh, phase tokens are. Defending in phase one, attacking in phase two and three. So let's see what we got here. Okay, we have an 18 in the physical where she was defending and his is 10, so we defended that one. We have a, let's see, an 11 in the arcane and she has a plus 3. So that's 14, and the arcane got an 8, so that is 1 damage. And then we have a 17 in the mythical. She has a plus 1. That's an 18, and that is enough also. So that is 2 damage. That will kill the skeletal grunt. We received no life force, and what have we got? 20, 20, 20 on both of them, so we'll see what we get with a D20. Uh, close, but no cigar. Okay, that finishes that, but remember. Our environment that's still in effect. Two, four, six. So we've got 600 gold from that, uh, even if the environment changes, and which I forgot to do. So let's go back and do that. Okay, we should have done this before uh, before we started moving. That is the second phase, the encounter phase. So this is the encounter. So we still do still have the environment, so I don't have to take that one off. And we don't have the guardian phase. So this is the event. A sneaky goblin named Butchie snuck up on the heroes, attempting to steal their gold. Each hero must test willpower 17 to detect their gold is about to be taken. On a pass, the hero catches Butchie in the act and beats him senseless. On a fail, roll 1d20 times 100 for the amount of gold Butchie has stolen. If the amount is more than what the hero has, the hero loses all of the gold in their possession. This event starts with the hero who has initiative token 1 and continues from there. This is not good. Okay, initiative token 1 belongs to Faith. We are testing, what do you say, willpower? She has a willpower of three, and she has no gold, so there's no sense of doing it. Well, wait a second. Well, no, because even if you beat him senseless, I guess he obviously continues to carry on, just dazed and confused and goes to the next one. So, because we have to, roll for, have to roll for all of them. Each hero must attend. Okay, so there's no sense in rolling for her at all, because she has no gold. Number two is Paul Loom. She has no gold. Remember, they just gave all their gold to uh, Albus to go to the market. Number three is Sir Brennus. 
He has a willpower of three. He has 100 gold. So let's see what he does. That's a six, nine. So we roll another. And it might make any difference because he just got one. So, so that gold is gone. Sneaky butchie. Okay, and number four is Zeke. He has a willpower of three also. He has 100 gold. So 12 and 15, that is not 17. So he's going to lose his gold also. Next up is Inwin. She has a willpower of two. And no, she has two gold, 200 gold. She will lose both of those. Next one is going to be really bad. Okay, the next one is Mel Hiliak. He has a willpower of two. Oh, Lord. I wish I could roll that for the gold. See what he loses. He loses five. He had... Uh, he had 2,100, so he loses five. Okay. So little Butchie makes off with about 1,000 gold, something like that. Five, seven, well, eight, eight or nine. Anyway, a curse upon you, Butchie. Double curse. Okay. So that, we'll go back to... Uh, Go back to our movement now. See what we got. Okay, we did uh, Faith. Faith killed the skeletal grunt. Take him off. And next up is Paloom up there. We're going to move her. She has a D6 plus 4. So that is 8. Let's see how far that gets her. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I wonder... She's probably two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. She'd have to roll six to get there. But she can get in the way. Because she can, I believe, well, not really. She doesn't have much help against the cultist of Zul. So, you know what? Let's see, there's a treasure chest. She's also good at secret rooms. Well, to get at lock picking. Maybe better to have Faith do the detection of the secret room. Okay, uh, it's an empty chamber, so there's nothing there. No reason to go in there. I guess uh, I'll move down here. There's a empty chamber here with a crate. May just move to that treasure chest. So we'll see how, we'll see what she gets first. See how much movement she gets. We'll figure something out. She got to seven. Uh one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we'll just go there. We'll just go there. Okay, next up is Sir Brennus. Sir Brennus is going to move over here towards the mining site. He has a plus two. He's got a six. I don't think it's going to get him there. One, two, three, four, five, six. He will roll again and then be able to do one mining action. Okay, that's five. I'll just move there, and he will do a mining action. 
which is going to be a D3 and a D12. And that's going to dull his pickaxe a little bit more because he was in the 10 to 12 range. He is now into the 9 to 12 range. And he gets one card from which one's the end there? He's in D, so that's this one. And you get the card, and you get the sunstone. He's adding to his collection of stuff. Okay. Well, that is two and three done. So now we go to four. That is Zeke. He's going to move towards the cultist of Zul there. So let's see. He's got a D6 plus two, right? Yep. Well, that's three. It's not going to get him very far. And that is seven. So he's got ten. I don't know if that'll get him there or not. Nope, it won't. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, just barely did, right? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Yes, it did. Okay. <clears throat> so, Zeke's going to take a shot at that cultist of Zul. The cultist of Zul is proficient in spiritual, arcane, and, ra and uh, range. Yep. Zeke's also pretty good in uh, spiritual and arcane. So that'll, that should help a little bit. All right. So we need that one, and that one, and that one. Well, that is where we stand. So in phase one, Zeke will use this. He also has a plus one. Phase two is going to go ahead and use this weapon. And has a plus three, plus this, plus two there. So, and then we'll defend in the last phase. So, let's see what happens here. Well, that's probably not going to work out all that great. Six. And he's got a... Plus two, that's going to be an eight. That is not going to do it. Let me double check. Six plus two. Yep, it's only got an eight. So Zeke's going to take one damage. And it'll move him down to six. Second one, four. Oh, we just didn't roll very good at all. This time there's... So he's got a five, so that's a nine. And that is still not quite enough, so that's another damage. And a seven. With a plus two, that's a nine. So, well, we've got at least one damage. Oh, and that's all we needed. Seven, eight, nine. Yeah, it's he's got a plus one on his stat and a plus one on his weapon. So that will kill the cultist of Zulu or Zul. Okay, so that one's gone. Uh, we need to roll. What do we got here? Got a 19. 19 and an 18. Right? Yep. So we have a chance to get something. A slim chance, but a chance. Uh, 
Uh, 16. Close again, but not there. No life force gain, but we do, again, get to add another token to our card, our environment card. So that's, that's still going. Okay, that was Zeke. Up next is Enwin. Oh, what does she want to do? I had to, Zeke has got the key, and she doesn't want to go in there and open either one of these doors by herself, so. <clears throat> Think she may. Let's see if I saw well, there's a treasure there, but Paul Loom was headed that direction. Well, we have uh, A C D so we have three of them. She could go down here and see if that's unexplored, I guess. I don't think I want to move them too far away from from the crowd though, because we're going to be spawning two more minions, no telling where they're going to pop up. Oh, uh, what to do, what to do. Well, we're just going to go ahead and move her, let's stay right there. She's got a D6 plus, what's she a, plus three. Not going to take much to get her there. That's going to do it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's just. Six. She's got nine. Yeah. We'll just stop there with her. Okay, that is in one then. Now I want to move. I want to move our uh, Albus. Get him out. See what he can do. He's got a D8 plus eight. That's nine. That's not gonna. Won't get him out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Just needed a couple more. Okay. Well. He's got eight, so we know he gets out. So he is over. He goes over to the market. And we need to see what we're going to do. First thing he's going to do is turn these cards in. These gems. And we're going to make that. Oh, that didn't jump. So it takes two Zoltanite. Two Moonstone and two Jade. And it will give a plus four. To Arcane. And. Uh, I'm trying to remember who I was going to give that to. I may give that to. Uh, oh no. I have to give that to Zeke. Because he's the only one that's got. A jewel spot. So that's the first thing he's going to do, and give uh, give the blacksmith one hundred. He's carrying two thousand gold. I'm going to give the blacksmith one hundred of it. Next, he's going to give the blacksmith eight hundred gold and pick up these items. About to run out of things in the blacksmith shop there, and then we're probably going to buy some potions. From Bazaar. And lastly, he's going to give 500 and buy five potions. So he's going to come back with 600. I just, I don't think there's anything else there I want to get right now. Could get some torches maybe. But uh, I think we're moving along well enough so far. 
So that's what we're going to do. He is going to be on his way back on the next next turn. Last but not least, well, Hiliac is going to move on down this direction also. He has also a D6 plus 2. There's 7. And then we'll just go again. And a 5. So he has 12. Uh, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's just go there and he can at least see what's there. That is not a mining site. Okay, you probably noticed a little jump there. We had a dead battery. So anyway, Metal Hiliac came down here, moved next to this mining site, and it is not a mining site. So we don't have to worry about that one. That will end the hero phase. Now we go to the minion phase. And as you can see, we are just down to one minion. So the first thing we're going to do is spawn two minions. And the first one up is a shadow dweller. This one is an elite, has a special ability, webbed before any warfare role is made. Each hero takes an evade 11 to dodge a web attack. Okay, so that's just before any warfare role is made. So, let's see where he shows up. We need a D8. Gonna show up on number one. And that is I just saw it. I know I just saw it. Right here. I should just see it it's right in front of me. So he's a red creepy crawler, spider. He is gonna go here. Okay, so that's menu number two. Menu number three is going to be a Blackwood Prowler, who is also an elite. Has a Blood Moon amulet before any warfare roll is made. Another one before any warfare. Rolls a d20. The amulet activates all warfare values gain three. For this combat round. I'm assuming his warfare values. Not mine. Or not all of ours. So anyway, we'll play it that way until I hear something different. Okay, so let's see where he's going to magically appear. Three. And he's a green kitty cat. There's two, there's three right there. Okay, he's already sticking out a little bit. Okay, so now we go to our phase where we roll the three die and see how far, which direction, and whether they, <coughs> excuse me, Transition. That one did this first one up. Sorry. First one up is the cultist of Zul. Did not go raiding. That's blue. And five plus two. And let's see. She is here. Going this way. So one, two, and then she rolled the blue, so she's going back. Three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, so it's going to end up going that way. Okay. So next up is the.
spider who's right here. Let's see if he starts raiding and which way he goes and how far. He does not raid. That is blue. And three plus four. Kind of going the same direction as the cultists. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So going that way. And lastly is our kitty cat. Orange. Not rating. And three plus five. Kitty cat moves fast. So eight. On the orange is that way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Okay. That is that's it. Let me double check in our movement that we didn't. Nobody's within four. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. So these would not they they went here. One, two, three, four. Yep. Range is four, so as, as far as line of sight, so they can't, I'm not sure they could, well, there's not a wall there, can't pass through it, it's kind of statue, it, so it doesn't block the line of sight, but it would block uh, special abilities that have range, I believe is what the rules say. And that uh, completes this turn, took a little bit longer than normal, I think, but we got it done. We got a new battery, so for the next round, we should be good. Okay, well, that'll do it for, uh, that'll do it for this time. So we got, uh, we want to have Albus coming back and dropping off some things to folks. And, uh, probably we'll do some combat in here, because... We need to, oh, I can't do that. Zeke's got the key. Got to get Zeke back down here before we open these doors. Um, probably just keep Sir Brennus doing some mining and then get these two together and do some things down in here next turn. Okay. Thanks for joining me, folks. We will see you next time. Have a great day.